Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome back to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in Deus Ex Mankind Divided playing Jensen's Stories DLC content. This is System Rift DLC in Deus Ex Mankind Divided and I am continuing my playthrough of System Rift. In the last video, we got into this area, which is basically a death trap. <laughs> it is full of heat sensor turrets and robots. I got the augmentation to go ahead and dominate turrets. Took those out, which allowed me to walk around a lot more freely. But the robots were a problem, so I had to take out the drones as well. Luckily, that got me through this area though and I was able to do that. I hacked into every computer that I could, server in here, and activated all their holograms. And I uh, noticed something. Uh, each hologram has a unique letter at the bottom of it, like that's A for example. Not sure if it spells anything, but each one has a unique letter. I didn't uh, point that out last time, but I did notice that that each one had a uh, specific letter under it. Maybe some kind of secret code, I'm not sure, but I haven't encountered anything that requires a code, so I guess if I need it, I have to come back and look at those. I'm still here, however, at server 209, because this is an optional I have to explore this chamber. Now, the problem with this chamber is that it is full of gas that I cannot breathe. I don't have the rebreather, and I don't have enough praxises to get the rebreather. I got one praxis, and as you can see, it takes two to unlock the rebreather. So that will not happen. The only way to get in there is to either brute force my way in there with hypostems and try to find what I'm supposed to find, or turn off the gas. Now, I asked in the last video, is there a way to turn off the gas? Uh, because you would think that they would have an option for that if you did not have a praxis to unlock the rebreather, right? Well, it turns out there is. So I have to admit, I had to look this answer up. But I only did it because I wanted completion in my playthrough. So I looked up, is there a way to turn off the gas in on server chamber 209 before playing today? There is a way to turn off the gas. Now, I have searched everywhere for that. You noticed. I went down below. I searched that room down there. I searched that room there. And I thought, okay, you know, those were the rooms that maybe you could turn the gas off in. Turns out, it's actually this room. The room before you go into that server has a way to turn the gas off. Now, I have not read how to do that. I only read that there was a way. So I didn't give myself too many spoilers here. I only read that as soon as you come into this room, there is a panel that you can access in this room that turns the gas off. But I don't know where that panel is and I don't know what that panel is. So I myself don't know that. I don't, I don't know that what it is. I only know there is a way to do that. So I just want to let you know I didn't spoil myself too much, uh, you know, to give away any game game details or whatever. But I wanted to do at least that much because I want optional and secondary completion in this game. I want to complete everything this round. So I just had to do it. So there's apparently a secret panel, but it's not obvious. I'm not seeing it. So let's see if we can turn on our smart vision and see if we can detect a panel. Ah, there it is. Cabinet open. You know, if only I would have used my smart vision in here. I didn't think to do that. So this is an augmentation I had, the smart vision, and that allows me to see that panel. If I didn't have smart vision, I guess I would have not even known that was there. But with the smart vision, which is a, a thing I already had, and a thing I was using in all other rooms, I probably could have found that on my own if I had looked. I didn't even think that the panel access or the gas valve would be in this room. I thought the gas valve would be like down below in one of these rooms that were below this. I didn't think it would be in this room specifically. So that's why it tripped me up just a little bit. 
Uh, but let's move forward. Okay, there's a hatch here, and I've now found it, and the valve is closed. It was that easy. That was staring at me the whole time. It's just not obvious. That panel is not obvious. But there you go. I can turn the gas off. No gas. I'm free to go in. Now we can try to figure out what I need to find in here because obviously just going in here you don't find anything. So I already activated the hologram and you can see it's I think that's an I. The letter I. So these all have letters underneath them. Again, I don't know if that means anything. I just know they have that. But what am I supposed to find in this room? I don't know. Because I don't see anything. Is there like a hidden hatch or something? So again, this is where my vision comes in handy. I'm hitting E on everything to see if there's anything in here. Because apparently... Just coming in here does not complete this. Yeah, it's still three of four. So what completes this? Okay, let's do a search. I don't see anything here. There's something here. Oh, look at this. We got a pocket secretary. That's it. There it is. Okay, well, I found it. Yay me. Again, the vision coming in clutch there. And I got a Praxis. Now I have the Praxis to unlock the rebreather that I don't need now. Okay. What did that data pad say, though? Let's find out. Nico, I'm sorry about this morning. I found something at work that is really stressing me out, and I look, I look, I took it out on you. I found a bug in the system we created that is temporarily moving all of our clients' new data to Blade mainframe. I don't know what that is, but Oshiro needs me to have a lot on his mind since I reported it. seems to have a lot on his mind since I reported it to him. I will tell you all about it tonight over dinner. I'm tired of keeping my work a secret. I will, I will head home as soon as I'm done looking into maintenance issues that Oshiro signed to me at the last minute. It's funny, the issue is in chamber 209. Wasn't that the address of our first first something or another? I got a bad feeling about this, Pritchard. According to an email I just found, Masaki Oshiro ordered Saradakis to run maintenance in the chamber that killed her. Shadow Child was right, Ben. There is a lot going on inside that bank. Absolutely. Finish the mission and we'll see what we can do about it. Okay. I am happy with this result. Two Praxises, but I'm going to wait and see what I need those for. I may need one for the level 5 hacking, remember? So we'll wait and see. But I was going to check on the mission here. Alright. I did it. I did the optional. I did the secondary. In the last video, I was very upset that I had to leave it that way. I, I thought I was going to have to skip this room and just leave the evidence. I'm so glad, though, that I figured it out. And I did look it up, but again, I only looked up the fact that there was a way to turn off uh, the gas. I didn't look up how to do that, so I didn't go too far on the spoilers, but I just had to do it. I had to do it because I needed that completion. Use the voice sample to enter the mainframe. Use the voice sample to enter the mainframe. I found an audio recording of Ashira and Tower that suggests they are engaging in insider trading and that someone named Shanton Dowd might be involved somehow. I'll have to have Pritchard look into once he's done out of the blade. In the meantime, the recording should be all I need to get into the mainframe door open. And I got the recording. Alright, we can finally clear this area. We are cleared to go. I'm so glad I went back and looked that up now. I mean, that was just really huge for me. I, I needed that. Alright, let's move forward, shall we? I'm going to make a quick save. And we're going forward. All objectives, all secondary and optional objectives are done. Uh, I have to... Oh, I have to use it here. Voice recognition panel. Voice recognition is ready. Oh, this is very cool. So if I had not had the recording, I could speak it but I might fail and have to fight my way through or I could just leave. 
So this is cool. If I hadn't had this uh, use recording option, I wouldn't have had that option. But I have the option because I found the recording. So now I can use it. This is so cool. I love stuff like this. It just shows me there's like another way to do it if you didn't have that option. But I do have the option, so I'm going to get the best result. Masaki Oshiro. Voice analysis in progress. Voice recognition confirmed. Welcome, Mr. Oshiro. And it worked. Pritchard, Oshiro Objective and Talwar complete. Have been engaging in insider training. That's why data's being moved. I think Simona Saradakis caught on to them. And they killed her to shut her up? The recording I found mentioned a Stanton Dowd who might also be involved. Get me connected to the mainframe. Maybe I can find out more when I'm inside. Sweet. Yes, I love. So I got that option now too. Nice. All right, now I'm just... Look at all these things I've accomplished. I have done well. <laughs> I'm very proud. Insert the passport into the mainframe terminal. And uh, we're going to hack this NSN type thing that we did before in the main mission. I guess this is going to take us into the virtual world. Here we go. No turning back. Getting things done. Look at all these servers. Richard, what's it looking like on your end? We were right. Santos files are here. I'm gonna extract what I need. Shit. Shit. Jensen. The AI core is cutting off my communications. Richard? Uh-oh. Cash trapped, Jensen. I can't get to the exit. Shadow Child. She may be. That's from the teaser. This is not good. All that and I still cause trouble. Shadow Child, I've got a situation. I lost contact with Nuclear Snake in the NSN, and the Blade security system fried the passport. What? That... That's bad. Very, very bad. Yes. Without the passport signal, our friend's avatar has no way out of the NSN. They'll be able to use its signature to pinpoint his location. Is there something I can do? There's an NSN chair here connected to the mainframe. Really? Yes. I might be able to open a gateway for him if I hack into the Palisades network using your infolink frequency. You can do that? I might be the only hacker in history who can, but now is not the time for bragging. Just sit in the chair and I'll do the rest. I like the way this server room looks. Hard to access the servers though if you need to do maintenance though, wouldn't it wouldn't it be? Or maybe you can walk on No, you could walk. Yeah, that's like glass, you can walk on that. I just really like the design of that server room. It's kinda cool. Okay, yeah, this is the stuff where we're doing the virtual thing. I'll make a quick save here. Now I didn't like the virtual stuff when I played it in the main game. It's not my type of gameplay, but I guess we have no choice, right? We have to do it. Shadow Child, I'm in. I don't have eyes on Nuclear Snake's avatar. This is incredible. Mr. Jensen, the Palisades mainframe is unlike any NSN server I've seen before. It's... sorry. Okay. From what I can tell, you're in a partition of the mainframe server. I see traces of two avatars in the code. The other one must be our friend. Now this is different, actually. This looks different than the NSN computer I was in, in Miller's office. This one is very different. Um, also, a, a kind of a weird parallax effect, effect on it when I move. Um, okay. This is, like I said, this is not particularly my favorite kind of gameplay. But it's obviously required for the game, so... We're going to do it. I don't know what I have to do, but we're going to do it. Guess we're going in. Okay, here we are. Whoa, the walls are moving. Oh my gosh, this effect is so cool. Yeah, I mean, this game, remember, it came out in 2016. But for a 2016 game, 
this is not bad. The graphics are not bad, and the frame rate is real smooth. I mean, it performs extremely well. All right, anyway, I'm kind of gawking at it. Whoa, I'm kind of the f where the floor and the everything I meets. See him, Pretty crazy. His avatar is out of reach. Doesn't seem like I can communicate with him. That's because the Palisade's virtual defense systems are interfering with his connections. If you extract the program from the data towers in this server, it should disable the system's hold on him. Sounds easy enough. I took the liberty of applying a few augments to your avatar that may come in handy. In the meantime, I'll work on opening a gateway for him to use as an exit point. Okay, but what enhancements do I have? Do I have high jump? Because I could use that. Also, I can't hit tab. There is no tab. I do have this, though. I can see things. And that's important because there's an invisible floor, and I'm going to have to go through that. I can jump, but it's not a high jump. I can crouch, but I don't know what else I can do. I can zoom. I can do a weird zoom. I have no anything else. I cannot hit tab, and I can't do anything with that. All right, there's an invisible floor here to go across. But there's also these areas here. Extract security programs from the data towers. But do I go through here? See, I want to explore what's these ways, but obviously I need to get over there too. Oh, there's a lot of these. Okay, well, if there's multiple ones, then I guess, yeah, I guess we start here and go through. All right, so we got to hit an F1. And I don't know if this will last forever. Okay, it will. That's a good thing to know. Extracting the data from these towers. This is like a lava pit. Now I did that one, but does that mean I need to go through? What are these other ones that were back this way? I'm actually going to go back and see if I need to open up these other ones. I mean, I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, it just uh, repeats itself. Okay, never mind. That's just an infinite... It's an infinite scrolling repeat. I get it. Okay. Never mind. Nothing down those hallways. It just constantly repeats itself. That's kind of cool, though. All right, now... Is this like lava? I have to be careful not to touch something? I'm not sure. I guess don't fall. Again, the colors in here and everything is so beautiful. This is just amazing artwork. Honestly, this is amazing. It's breathtaking. Okay, so each one is basically going to give me a little challenge. I see. As I progress forward, each section gets more difficult and more difficult. Lovely. So it's basically platforming as we go through. And yeah. So don't fall. Hit a button. It extends a path. All right. I get it. Well, I sort of get it. Now what? I cannot make this jump from here to there. Oh, got a wireless. Okay. The heck did that do? Dropped a bo a box. 
Is that a companion cube? Oh, it literally... This is Portal. I'm playing Portal, guys. This is the Deus Ex Mankind Divided version of Portal. Drop the cube in the box. Put the cube in the hole. Do the thing. Open it up. This is Portal. I guess I could have done that side also. That's... Okay, this is pretty cool. This isn't working, Mr. Jensen. The Blade's AI core is thinking too fast, preventing me from creating a stable gateway into the mainframe. We need another way then. And I may have one. I can create a hole in the outer defenses and invite a few of my Ripper friends to attack the client servers at the same time. Cause a distraction elsewhere and the AI looks away from the mainframe. Smart. I should warn you. Nuclear Snake will not be happy about it. He doesn't get a vote. Do it. Okay. So, each one is a puzzle, and I have to figure out the puzzle. It's not just platforming. It's a puzzle. Each one's a puzzle. This is basically Portal. I can't even get to the button on this one. I can't remote hack from here. I mean, the button's in there. I can't get to it, though. I can't remote hack that from here. How do I get to it? This one is throwing me for a loop. I cannot remote hack it. The button is... Now I can access the button? So I could only access the button under the vision? That's pretty different. Okay, I didn't expect that, but that that definitely got me. Missed it. Missed it by a mile. Well, I obviously am supposed to go down here. And go through a vent. Very cool. Oh, look at these vents. These are fancy matrix vents. That freaked me out. I thought that was a... It is a wall. Oh, I'm over on this side now. But what do? Ah. Oh gosh, got a moving floor now. This is really difficult. <laughs> oh crap. I did. Okay, I got fell on the floor here. Whew, wow. This is hard. I don't like invisible floors that move. Why is that necessary?
Come to me, Floor. Whew. Okay, I'm here, but how does that help me? Oh, button. Ah, now it extends all the way. Could I jump? No, I can't. I need to... Oh, how do I get to that floor? Wait a minute. Oh, I know what I have to do. I have to jump from here and jump down to the floor. Oh, this is hard. Quick save. <laughs> I have to jump to that and then fall to the floor. <laughs> like that. Okay, that. Wow. That was a difficult one. Achievement extract the data. Nice. Sure as hell hope that's you. Yeah, it's me. Our avatars are really cool sure. looking. If it isn't obvious by now, our covert mission is screwed. Every ripper in the world is probably attacking the blade servers as we speak. Time and options were not on our side. Did you find what we were looking for? Hopefully. I'll know after I start analyzing the files back in the real world. Okay. Let's discuss the situation oh. when we're safe That was actually really difficult. What does this do? It looks different than everything else. Why is it here? I don't know, but it's cool. Well, that was definitely a challenge. Shadow Chow. Nuclear snake is out. Shadow Chow. Do I have to like break out of the bank for this uh, palisade blade now? I guess... Oh, I can't hit... Uh, I still don't have tab. I can't tab. I can't do nothing. I'm literally... stuck. Do you think I'm still in the NSN? Am I still in the virtual world? Because I don't have my augmentations or anything here. Maybe not. I guess the objective is just escape. I d literally do not have any of my augs. I have nothing. Hope there's... Oh, I'm still in the NSN. I'm going door th through door through door through door. Okay, I'm still in the virtual world. I'm trapped. Throw. Okay, I'm obviously still in the virtual world. So there has to be a way out, right? Masaki? Could I enter his name, maybe? How did how how is it spelled? M A S A A K I. That was it, Masaki. Uh, and this is coded. It's is it backwards? Oh no, Ozmru.
I'm looking for anything that might give me a clue here. DZMG. DZMG is in quotes. Am I supposed to do something with that? DZMG. I, was, I wanted to enter the password again, but it won't let me. Uh, where do I put in DZMG? Can I just type DZMG? That didn't work. DZMG. Uh, typing it doesn't work. Uh, DZMG. DZMG. Huh. Question is, where do I input that? GMZD? No, DZMG. Well, I have no idea what to do. This is pretty weird. Obviously, I'm still in the virtual world. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Well... I don't know. Can't click anywhere in here. Trying to see if I can click password real fast. Let's see if that does anything, but no, it doesn't let me click the password. Can I hide in a corner? Honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's nothing here but these computers. There's nowhere to enter any like secret codes. Huh. Well, obviously, there's a puzzle I'm supposed to figure out here. I just don't know how to do that. I can't activate anything. Yeah, I don't know guys. I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I looked at the email. I can't decode it. I don't know what it says. It's written in some kind of encryption and I have no idea. That obviously isn't working. Do I have any other augmentations? Anything I can activate? I don't have any other augmentations and no, I cannot activate anything. I 
I don't see anything. Oh, wait, there's a door here. Whoa, look at that. I didn't see that before. There's a hidden door here. I'm so dumb. I didn't try it with my vision on to see if there was like another door. And there absolutely was. There's a secret door. <sighs> wow, okay, so. Yeah, I'm still in the virtual world. That was pretty uh, crazy puzzle there. If I had, uh, yeah, the vision. I didn't know the vision was going to allow me to see whatever I was supposed to see. A secret door. But I guess it makes I guess it makes sense because the, the floors were Are also. Are you out of the NSN yet? Yes, and so is nuclear. Yeah, Good. we're also in. I've been working on an escape option for you. There is a maintenance hatch on the underside of the blade. It's a quick exit, but also a long drop to the river. It's that or I leave the way I came in. Fight or fall, I guess. Exactly. Get to your apartment. There are things we need to discuss. Shadow Child, you and I also need to talk. Privately. Okay, Nukes. The mainframe door is open, Mr. Jensen. I'll keep working on getting that exterior hatch unlocked. Thanks. Now, Shadow Child. All right, I can use this exterior hatch. Our job here is done. Pritchard got what he was after, and his avatar is no longer up. Shadow Child is working on an escape option. If she can get the blade's exterior maintenance hatch open, I can use it as a means for a quick getaway. Time to leave. Yeah, I'd like to use that. I don't have to worry, though. I, I think every... Okay, I have to worry. There's a robot. Um... I'm at, I think I'm at the end of the game, so let's just get maximum cloaking. Well, I don't know. Guess we can wait. I think I can hide around this thing. I think I can make it without him seeing me. Oh, he sees me. Exterior hatch is unlocked. One of our two, Mr. Jensen. I appreciate your help, but how are you still connected to the blade systems? Just be thankful that I am, and get out while you still can, my friend. Okay, everything is really angry at me. So I basically am fighting my way out again. I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, that's the hatch right here. I'm dead. That was stupid. That was so dumb. I knew that would happen. All right, I need to be a little more careful on the escape. There is a maintenance hatch on the underside of the blade. It's a quick exit, but also a long drop to the river. It's that or I leave the way I came in. Fight or fall, I guess. Exactly. Get to your apartment. There are things we need to discuss. Shadow Child, you and I also need to talk. Privately. Okay, nukes. Do I have any... Uh, hypo stems what I'm looking for? No, I have no hypo stems. Alright, what I'm gonna do then, actually, in case I take damage here, I'm gonna go for... Not the Titan Hog. I'm going to go for maximum physical damage. And I think I'm also going to get more battery. The mainframe door is open, Mr. Jensen. I'll keep working on getting that exterior hatch unlocked. Thanks. Now, Shadow Child. Oh, my, um, uh, my buttons are gone. It erased my, my F1 and my F2 for my 
cloaking and stuff. Sneak by this robot. The heat sensors have me. I appreciate your help, but how are you still connected to the blade systems? Just be thankful that I am, and get out while you still can, my friend. I'm gonna let my energy come back, and then we'll go up there. Okay, I'm going to let my energy come back again. And then we've got we to sneak through this part, but the hatch now is in the middle. That hatch we didn't have open to before, we have open access to before, is now open to access. So that's where I need to ultimately go. Now I think I can... Okay, the heat sensors are going to get me, but we can make it through here. Right into the water. I mean, literally, she didn't... She wasn't kidding. It was a drop down into the water. And we're at our apartment. We did it! We meet again, wow. Mr. Jensen. I see you made yourself at home. You let yourself into my place, I let myself into yours. You know you can tell a lot about a person and by how clean they keep their home when they are not expecting visitors. I wonder what the police will think of mine. You're sure they traced you then? It's only a matter of time. What we accomplished tonight, punching through the Palisades defenses. The breach is going to help us expose everyone's dirty little secrets. The breach? You mean you didn't close the hole you made? Why would I? Besides, it's not possible. Word of what we did is spreading through the dark net like wildfire. Rippers will be attacking the Palisade servers day and night to get at the truth. Okay. This is a good thing, Mr. Jensen. It's what we wanted. Sure, why not? Oh, I can rebuke her. It's what you wanted. This was a covert mission that was supposed to have a small footprint. You've jeopardized all of us. I don't think that. Advise, really? Rippers start hacking into the personal accounts of innocent individuals, invading people's privacy? Then where does that leave us? We're a supporter. I wanted you to find out what's really going on inside the bank, and in the end, we barely scratched the surface. I look forward to seeing what others will find out. I'm going to support her on this. I think they are a nefarious organization, to be honest. And all the organizations with them, Versa Life, Tae Tae Young, um, uh, all the other ones that are in there. I'm going to support. I wanted to find out what's really going on inside the bank, and in the end, we barely scratched the surface. I look forward to seeing what others will find out. This will change things. At this very minute, thousands of rippers are accessing data in small amounts. See, I'm for transparency. It's a tiny crack in a dam, but it can grow and maybe even bring the Palisade Bank Corporation and its founders down. Let's hope so. Tell me something. Now that you don't have an apartment anymore, what's next? My partner and I are debating. We're either moving to California wine country or Argentina. One thing is for sure, though. Shadow Child's time in Europe is over. And now I must go. Nuclear Snake is very upset about the breach. I think I will be mending fences with him for a long time. How do you tell someone like that that they need therapy? You don't. Ciao, Mr. Jensen. All right. That was pretty smooth. Ciao. Now we got to do this Sardakis thing where we uh, got all that info for him about the murder. We need to clear well, that looks up. looks like you and I made it out cleanly, Jensen. The authorities haven't identified us. Shadow Child might not be so lucky. She's leaving town. Between you and me, I think she wanted things to trace back to her. There were other options. This was supposed to be a small investigation into Santo. Instead, thanks to her, we're responsible for the Woodstock of hacking. She helped get you out. Regardless, are you forgetting what we found out in there? 
that Oshiro and Talwar murdered Simona Saradakis to keep their elaborate insider trading scheme from going public? And that this Stanton Dowd person is blackmailing them to get access to every client's files. Did you find anything on him? Only that there isn't much to go on. He's an old money trillionaire who's more skilled at breaking even than he is at making a profit. There must be more, Pritchard. Oshiro seemed especially concerned about the people Dowd represents. If you want me to, I'll keep digging. But right now, we're sitting on an open and shut case against the bank's founders. Except we can't release the evidence ourselves because we obtained it illegally. Precisely. So what do you think we should do about it? Oh, they're giving me a choice, huh? The Darknet... Uh, widow, or, yeah, the Darknet. Let's release what we have on the Darknet. The world needs to know that the Palisade Bank is a sham or destroy it. Releasing it could come back to bite us. That's not the Jensen way. He doesn't just shy away from these things because it might come back to him. That's not the Jensen way. So, so far, the dark net. Let's see what Widower's, Widower, Widower's lawyer. What about Simona Sardekis' Widower? I ran into him before I went into the blade. Let's ask, is this a question or is this going to lead to like this is our only op or the option we have to take? I don't know. I, I mean, I, I want to follow that path. What about Simona Saradakis' widower? I ran into him before I went into the blade. Seriously? Still struggling to make sense of his wife's death. He had a hunch it was foul play. Let's hand the evidence off to his lawyer if he has one. Oh, give the evidence to the lawyer. It'll certainly wash our hands of the situation. But don't you think Saradakis and the Palisade Bank Corporation will settle out of court? It's not about money, fam. He wants to destroy Oshiro and Talwar. I think that's a fine that's option. A perfect weapon. This is if a fine. So. This is a fine option. It was well, for him anyway. Client. That's why we were doing that. Incriminating in Santos files. Achievement. Expose the truth. So Expose the truth. Their plans for Rabia look legitimate. Achievement. The timetable seems very aggressive, though. It has to be. If the Human Restoration Act passes, a lot of augmented people have no choice but to move there. That could be good or bad, depending. I just. I hope it doesn't come to that, Jensen. For any of us. Me neither. Well, as enjoyable as this little escapade of yours has been, I need to... To get uh, back to that moody loner thing you do so well. <laughs> I understand completely. Besides, I have a report to file with my client. You know, Jensen, this may be the last time we ever work together. Assuming, of course, you don't get yourself half killed, saving the world again, and call on me to Goodbye, get you. Francis. I like their relationship. They're good friends. Take care of yourself. See? Jensen likes him. That's all we needed to know. What another great DLC. This was honestly really good. Directed by that person. Their team members. Once again, just a big thank you to the developers, the artists, the producers, uh, ev the writers, the uh, everything that went into this DLC system rift. Thank you for making it. That was really good. I think now I will give my review. Alright, uh, it is time now to give my full review for System Rift. The uh, follow-up from Desperate Measure. This will not be an extremely long review because there, there's, a, there's some things for me to say. Even though this was the more fun and more involved DLC, I really don't have a lot to review on it. All I really want to say is just how awesome System Rift was as a DLC great continuation of the game the 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 essence of deus ex mankind divided uh, a very good playthrough of that essence definitely system rift is better than desperate measures definitely 100 percent also system rift is longer takes longer to get through and if you really take your time like i did you can see it was like 
I did like five videos that were an hour or an hour and 20 minutes long. So that's like maybe six hours all combined there of uh, the time that I spent. That's really good for a DLC, right? So if you take your time and do the optionals and do the secondaries and hack everything and log into every computer and read everything, you can really enjoy System Rift quite a bit. And I did. Um, I liked the length of it. It was longer than Desperate Measures, so that for me is a plus. Uh, already right there, it was better. Um, but there's one aspect of it that really impressed me. And that is the fact that we had a new location to explore that was different than anything else in the game. The main game. It was a new area, an area that we saw in the game the whole time we played the main storyline. And it was this palisade blade that kind of went up and stuck out over the, over the water. We saw this in the background of the game during, you know, while we were in the open world city the entire time we were there. But we never really got to explore inside that facility during the main part of the game. So for me, this was exciting because it's a location we saw the whole time and we finally got to explore it. We finally got to go inside it and up it and in the server rooms that are in it and explore it. That's just really, really awesome to me that they took an iconic piece of the game that you've seen the whole time and made new content out of it. And like, here you go. Now you get to go inside it. Wow, I love that. And we also saw a little bit of the outside around it as well. What's, you know, around the base of it. We got to explore outside there too, a little bit. And so that made, that was just really awesome. I mean, for that, they had to create new art assets. They had to create, you know, new uh, materials or maybe use the same materials, but you know, spice them up a little. They had to make this whole, th that whole section brand new. I mean, that was new content, literally. And so I just really applaud the developers and everybody who made all that to, uh, for creating all that and giving us that and giving us something new that we didn't see in the main storyline. They could have just said, oh, here's somewhere in Prague you've seen a hundred times. No, they gave us a new location. And that's really what set the environment for this DLC, System Rift. That really set the environment. It was really, really enjoyable because of that. Made it unique and it made it fun. So I just have all the praise in the world to give them for that. Next to that, the gameplay. Also fun, it had all the elements of the game. You had hacking, of course, breaking into computers, stealth, of course, or you could have just run in and killed everybody if you wanted to. I chose to do it non-lethal. That's the way I did it. But you could just kill everybody. You could do turret domination, robot domination. You could, excuse me, you could set them on friendly fire if you wanted to and do it that way. And you would have had easy access to everything doing it that way. Also, you know, kill the alarm panels and so forth. So you could choose to be stealthy, or you could choose to be Rambo, or you could do a hybrid approach. You could choose to be lethal, you could choose to be non-lethal. So how you play this is really cool. You could have snuck around the, you know, underneath through the vents the whole time and not gone right through the front, or you could have gone through the front. So. It offered that versatile gameplay that the main game is really known for. It, it, you could play you could play this this one in any way, and I enjoyed that. The uh, NSN stuff is not my most favorite stuff going into the virtual world. They did bring uniqueness to that though, because we did it in the main storyline with Miller in Miller's office, but with this one they added another element to that. They added uh, puzzles, basically. Uh, the puzzles got harder and harder, almost portal style, as I pointed out. So you had to figure out those puzzles. And um, 
using the vision to see invisible things was a nice new element they added that wasn't there before. And then at the end, it really tripped me up. Uh, the, um, the door that was there the whole time, but I couldn't see it without the vision. Yeah, that was very clever also. Now, I don't know what was on the computer. It was encrypted, DZMG or something. I don't know what all that meant. It was encrypted. It didn't seem to do anything for me. But I'm sure it is some kind of a secret. So if it is, let me know. What did I miss there? What did I not do? Obviously, I didn't do something. Uh, or I didn't see something or understand it. But it obviously, I think, has to mean something, right? So there's that. Um, otherwise, I'm extremely happy I completed the secondaries and optionals. Placed the figurine on the desk. Went into the CEO's office. Um, did all the optionals, all the secondaries. Uh, even did the... Uh, Finally figuring out what was in uh, the server room 209. Turning off the gas on that one really tripped me up also. Because that panel was hidden. But I didn't think to look in that room with the uh, vision. Remember, in this game, always get the vision. The vision is just really useful for everything. Remote hacking is also extremely useful. Um... So yeah, I'm happy with all those objectives and everything I completed. Got the main storyline completed. I'm happy with the choices I made. Don't think I would do it any differently, to be honest. The uh, only other way that I would play this would be a lethal playthrough where I just go in and kill everybody. Otherwise, I'm, I'm happy. Oh yeah, I didn't... I guess I didn't get the lethal or the non-lethal achievement because of those two people that died in the alley early on and the cops killed them and I didn't mean for that to happen but it did that was an accident on my part so I guess that takes away the non-lethal playthrough achievement for me because there I think there is a non-lethal achievement but obviously I didn't get it in this round because well of that so I, that's one change I would make is not do that and then get the non-lethal achievement otherwise I'm okay with all my choices so th this was uh, a plus for me. Great, great DLC content there for Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Really, really ending the game in a positive light for me. There's one more Jensen Story DL DLC called um, uh, A Criminal Past. That will be the next one. Now I don't know what that involves. It sounds like we're going to be a criminal in the past. I'm hoping we have some kind of storyline that deals deals with the fact of when Jensen was rescued from Panchea and then he was like shipped off somewhere. I think it was like Alaska where he lost a lot of time and that's where these new augments in this game came from. We don't know what happened during that period of time in Jensen's life. I would love a, a gameplay of that. Maybe that's what a criminal past is. I hope it is. I would love it to be, but I'm not sure. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's all about. That's going to be in the next video. That's the next playthrough. We're going to do a criminal past, and that will then end my Deus Ex Mankind Divided whole playthrough. I will have done the whole game and all the DLC content. And then I will be extremely happy with where I've ended with this game. So that's going to be the end here for System Rift. Very, very fun. I recommend everybody playing it. Uh, if you like what you see here, consider subscribing and leaving a like on the channel on the uh, video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next for the next one.